LSAT Preparation Guide Mastering the Law School Admission Test Azar al Haqsario. Azar al Haqsario. Copyright Copyright 2024 Azar al Haqsario. LSAT Preparation Guide Mastering the Law School Admission Test Copyright 2024 by Azar al Haqsario. All rights reserved. No part of this publication may be reproduced, distributed, or transmitted in any form or by any means, including photocopying, recording, or other electronic or mechanical methods, without the prior written permission of the publisher, except in the case of brief quotations embodied in critical reviews and certain other non-commercial uses permitted by copyright law. For permission requests, write to the publisher at the address below. Publisher's name, Azar al Haqsario. Email, azar.sario at hotmail.co.uk Website, https colon slash slash www.linkedin.com slash in slash Azarul Haqsario slash Cover design by Azar al Haqsario. Edited by Azar al Haqsario. This book is intended as a comprehensive guide for individuals preparing for the law school admission test, LSAT. The strategies, techniques, and materials provided are based on the author's extensive experience and research in LSAT preparation. This book does not claim to represent the official position or policies of the Law School Admission Council, LSAC, and the views expressed are solely those of the author. Every effort has been made to make this book as complete and accurate as possible. However, there may be mistakes in typography or content. Also, this book provides information only up to the publishing date. Therefore, this book should be used as a guide, not as the ultimate source of LSAT preparation. First edition. Contents. Copyright. Book map. The analytical reasoning section. Types of relationships. Ordering relationships. Grouping relationships. Scenarios. Deductive reasoning skills tested. Comprehending. Inferring. Logical equivalencies. Sample questions and diagrams. Question types. List or orientation questions. Additional condition questions. Could be true, false questions. True, false questions. Equivalency questions. Maximum, minimum questions. Completely determines questions. If, then questions. Logical reasoning, part 1 and part 2. Types of logical reasoning questions. Assumption questions. Strengthen and weaken questions. Flaw questions. Inference questions. Other question types. Reading comprehension. LSAT reading comprehension strategies. LSAT Reading Comprehension Past Paper Variable Section and Writing Section Variable Section, Experimental Section Writing Section Key Aspects and Strategies Questions, Answers Guide Analytical Reasoning Logical Reasoning Part 1 and 2 Part 1 Part 2 Reading Comprehension Variable Section and Writing Section Book Map. The Analytical Reasoning Section. This chapter introduces the analytical reasoning section of the LSAT. It focuses on understanding complex statements and evaluating arguments. This part tests your ability to think logically and organize information systematically. Types of Relationships. Here, we explore different types of relationships in questions, such as cause and effect, or sequence of events. This knowledge is crucial for solving various logical problems on the LSAT. Ordering relationships. A subsection that deals with questions where you need to arrange items in a specific order. This could be chronological, hierarchical, or any other type of sequence. Grouping relationships. This part focuses on categorizing items into different groups based on given rules. It's all about understanding how to classify and organize information effectively. Scenarios. In this chapter, you'll learn how to approach different scenarios in the LSAT questions. 
It's about applying rules to various situations and understanding how changes in scenarios affect outcomes. Deductive reasoning skills tested. This section covers the skills you'll need for deductive reasoning, such as drawing conclusions from given premises. Comprehending. It's about understanding and interpreting the information given in the questions correctly. Inferring. This subsection deals with making logical deductions based on the information provided. Logical equivalencies. Here, you'll learn to identify different statements that essentially mean the same thing, an important skill in logical reasoning. Sample questions and diagrams. This chapter provides examples of LSAT questions and diagrams. It helps you visualize and practice the concepts learned. Question types. An overview of different types of questions you'll encounter in the LSAT. List or orientation questions. Questions that involve organizing information or elements in a list or specific orientation. Additional condition questions. These questions add new conditions to the existing rules and test how well you can adapt to these changes. Could be true. False questions. These questions ask you to determine what could possibly be true or false based on the given information. True. False questions. Here, you're required to identify statements that are definitively true or false. Equivalency questions. Questions that involve finding different expressions or scenarios that are equivalent in meaning or outcome. Maximum, minimum questions. These questions involve determining the highest or lowest possible value of something within given constraints. Completely determines questions. Questions where one condition or rule determines all other elements or outcomes. If, then questions. These are conditional questions that require you to understand the implications of a condition being true. Logical reasoning, part 1 and part 2. An in-depth look at the logical reasoning sections of the LSAT, which test your ability to analyze, evaluate, and complete arguments. Types of logical reasoning questions. Explains different types of questions in this section, like those based on assumptions, arguments, or conclusions. Assumption questions. Focuses on identifying hidden assumptions in arguments. Strengthen and weaken questions. These questions ask you to identify factors that would strengthen or weaken an argument. Flaw questions. In these questions, you'll need to spot flaws in the reasoning of arguments. Inference questions. Questions that require you to draw conclusions based on the information provided. Other question types. Covers various other types of questions you might encounter in the logical reasoning sections. Reading comprehension. An introduction to the reading comprehension section, focusing on strategies to understand and analyze passages. LSAT reading comprehension strategies. Offers tips and techniques to improve your reading comprehension skills for the LSAT. LSAT reading comprehension past paper. A chapter dedicated to analyzing past LSAT reading comprehension sections to understand the pattern and types of questions asked. A chapter dedicated to analyzing past LSAT reading comprehension sections to understand the pattern and types of questions asked. Variable section and writing section. Explains the structure and content of the variable, experimental, section and the writing section of the LSAT. Variable section, experimental section. Details about this unscored section of the LSAT, which is used to test new questions for future exams. Writing section. Describes the LSAT's writing section, where you'll write an essay arguing for one of two given positions. Key aspects and strategies. This chapter provides overarching strategies and key points to remember for all sections of the LSAT. Questions, answers guide. A comprehensive guide with sample questions and answers for each section of the LSAT. Analytical reasoning. Specific strategies and example questions for the analytical reasoning section. Describes the LSAT's writing section, where you'll write an essay arguing for one of two given positions. Key aspects and strategies. 
This chapter provides overarching strategies and key points to remember for all sections of the LSAT. Questions, Answers Guide A comprehensive guide with sample questions and answers for each section of the LSAT. Analytical Reasoning Specific strategies and example questions for the analytical reasoning section. Logical Reasoning Part 1 and 2 Detailed breakdowns for both parts of the logical reasoning section, with tips and practice questions. Part 1. Focuses on the first half of the logical reasoning section. Part 2. Covers the second half of the logical reasoning section. Reading comprehension. Strategies and sample questions for the reading comprehension section. Variable section and writing section. Tips and example questions for both the variable section and the writing section. Azar al Haqsario. The analytical reasoning section. The analytical reasoning section of the LSAT is designed to assess your ability to understand, analyze, and draw conclusions from a set of facts and rules. This section is crucial as it mirrors the skills needed for legal problem solving and reasoning. Here's a detailed overview of what this section entails, based on the current syllabus and structure of the LSAT. Nature of questions. The questions in the analytical reasoning section are presented in sets, each based on a single passage. These passages often involve scenarios that require ordering or grouping relationships, or a combination of both. You'll be working within sets of constraints to derive solutions. Types of relationships. Ordering relationships. These questions involve arranging elements in a sequence based on provided rules. For example, scheduling tasks according to priority or ordering events chronologically. Grouping relationships. In these questions, you are required to group elements into separate teams or categories. This can involve even or odd groupings and sometimes, some groups may remain empty. Scenarios. The scenarios in these questions are typically unrelated to law to ensure they are accessible to a wide range of test takers. However, the skills tested are parallel to those used in legal settings, such as determining outcomes based on regulations or contractual terms. Deductive reasoning skills tested. The section evaluates a range of deductive reasoning abilities, including working with conditional statements, inferring what could or must be true from facts and rules, Recognizing logical equivalencies in context. Sample questions and diagrams. For better visualization and understanding of relationships, diagrams are often used. Horizontal diagrams are common, but vertical diagrams are used for scenarios like floor levels or hierarchical structures. For grouping relationships, 